the day we're taking a look at these MLB matches, which are happening on Monday, October 11th, 2021, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. 5 plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 270 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting advice that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advice. Tampa Bay Rays vs Boston Red Sox. Tampa Bay has yet to formally announce their starter for this game, but early reports indicate Luis Patino getting the nod for the first couple of innings. Manager Kevin Cash has held his cards very tight so far in these playoffs. If Patino begins to struggle early on, do not be surprised if Cash pulls the plug and deploys his dynamic bullpen. They've done this all year long, so it should not come as a shock. After giving up 14 runs two games ago, the leash will be extra short. The Red Sox sat in the top five for much of the regular season in most offensive categories. We know the playoffs are a different animal, but Boston has a dynamic mix of speed and power. Rafael Devers paced them this year with 38 home runs and 113 RBI, and hit a towering home run to put Game 2 out of reach. They'll have a good opportunity in this game at home with the Rays trotting out either the rookie Patino or another one of their younger bullpen arms. Our first betting advice is to pick Boston Red Sox. Despite posting the worst ERA of his career, Rodriguez actually had a strong season on the mound in 2021. The Red Sox left-hander struck out 10.56 batters and walked only 2.68 batters per nine innings of work, both career-best marks. He also pitched around a .363 BABIP and 68.9% strand rate, suggesting that he had some bad luck this year. Wander Franco and Austin Meadows hit their first home runs of the 2021 postseason, but it wasn't enough in a 6-4 game three loss on Sunday. Drew Rasmussen allowed three earned runs in just two innings of work, before giving way to the Rays' bullpen in the loss. The Rays have a stellar mix of power bats and elite-level arms at their disposal. They were sixth in the majors with 222 home runs during the regular season, and sat top five all season long in staff ERA, whip, and runs allowed. The pitching was not on display in Game 2 though, as Boz and the bullpen combined to allow a whopping 14 runs. While it hasn't officially been decided, Pavetta looks to be the choice for the Red Sox at home in Game 4. Cora noted that Eduardo Rodriguez and Chris Sale could also be available, though it seems the Red Sox are cautious of throwing another southpaw against the Rays, if they can avoid it. Pavetta gave up three runs over four and two-thirds innings out of the bullpen in Game 1 on Thursday. Our second betting advice is to pick under. Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.